Erica Ferrando has been on the ground driving around the Gulf Shores area to see what damage Hurricane Sally left behind and she's joining us now with a closer look at that. Erica, what did you see more of wind damage, water damage? Honestly, we saw both, and I think it might depend on where you look because on the drive down here, I would say the wind damage was very apparent with power lines and light poles completely bent in half, roofs completely lifted off of businesses. But you can see that there is still flooding here closer to the coast. It's starting to recede, but people have already started to clean up. When some of the gusts came up, it sounded like, like it was a tornado but the house actually shook. It was a sleepless night for Richard Franzen as Hurricane Sally made landfall, pushing water against his Gulf Shores home. It came up to our house within a foot of coming inside. Bonnie Smith is just down the road. We have a large tree. We heard it kapow. It was like a gun going off and uh, whew, needless to say, we didn't sleep very well. The drive down 59 to Gulf Shores paints a picture of Sally's strength. The branches and destruction was everywhere. Trees are snapped in half. Roofs have been lifted off of buildings, storefronts gone, and water flowing over roads. A lot of flooding. Wow. The vast majority of people in Baldwin County are without power, but line workers are already at work. The cleanup begins. I think it'll take months to clean this up. Branson has roof damage and lots of yard work ahead of him. The backyard fence is gone. The, my uh, I have a Vietnam veteran in my <laughs> but my I have I'm a veteran and I have a memorial back there. It's underwater. But I lost some of my friends in Vietnam. But it's gone. He's hoping to find the pieces as the water recedes. Now, this is the closest that we could actually get to the beach. This is the main stretch down there, Highway 59, and it is still closed to traffic. The curfew here in Gulf Shores has been extended. Live in Gulf Shores, Erica Parando, Eyewitness News. Heartbreaking story about that veteran. Uh, Erica, thank you.